Hi, my name is Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. Welcome to this video, the fifth video in my series about YouTube. If you haven't seen the earlier videos, click the link in the description below the video window to get to the first video and start there. In my last video, I explained how to monetize your music both on your own YouTube music channel and in third party UGC content, user generated content. These are videos that other people put up that include your music. Today, I want to discuss how to handle copyright claims from others on your YouTube channel or on your videos. There are many reasons why third parties may make a copyright claim on your YouTube content. When this first starts happening, it could be kind of unnerving. However, don't let it get you too crazy. In most cases, the worst that will happen is that your content won't monetize, or in some cases, the video might get muted or taken down. There are so many possible reasons why someone might make a copyright claim on your video content or on your music that I advise you to just Google how to handle specific cases if this happens. YouTube has a great content base online where most of those questions are answered. However, today I do want to address one very specific type of content claim that artists go nuts over, and it's this. If you have submitted your music for YouTube monetization through a content administrator like CD Baby or Audium or AdRev, you will likely notice that they have made copyright claims on your own videos. This usually freaks artists out. I mean, who do these companies think they are that they're claiming ownership of your precious recordings? Well, chill out, brother or sister, because this is exactly what you contracted them to do. Remember, they make the claim, but they don't actually own your rights. You just gave them the right to administer your rights on your behalf, which gives them the right to claim your content on any YouTube channel out there. So if you see a rights claim being made by your content administrator on one of your videos, it's most likely because they are monetizing your music on your behalf. Therefore, there's no need to worry. Leave it be and they'll continue to collect YouTube ad revenue for you wherever possible. Now, what upsets many artists is when they're already monetizing their own channel and their content administrator then claims those videos. And this is aggravating because it can lead to lower payouts. After all, your content administrator takes their own cut out of the royalties. But it's usually easy to resolve. If you have a thriving YouTube channel that you're already monetizing, awesome. What you need to do then is to give your YouTube content administrator your channel name so that they can whitelist your channel so you can keep monetizing your own channel. And then your content administrator will collect everywhere else for you. I hope you found this helpful. My next video will be my last in this YouTube series. In it, I will answer the question of how much YouTube pays, how it's calculated, and why it's so little. I hope to see you then.